the company that hates us all, Nintendo, <laughs> has released loot boxes into <laughs> Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. If you're unfamiliar, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is the mobile version of Animal Crossing. Um, it is got off to a very good start. It seemed to have slowed down quite a bit. And since it slowed down, Nintendo says, okay, we're not making as much money as we were before. Let's add loot boxes. So yeah. they added loot boxes. Um, they're called uh, fortune cookies. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, it's and, and they added it in the worst way possible. Um, they added it to where they added a secondary um, currency called um, some kind of tickets. Um Stamps. I'm sorry. They add a second currency called stamps. Okay. And they have – you can use these stamps like you usually use 10 of them or more to buy certain items. And they only come out of the um, – for this, fortune cookies, but the premium cookies. Okay. Uh, which are paid for. And another thing is they add, they did not – put any kind of duplicate protection so you can buy 100 loot boxes and 50 of them you can get duplicate items and uh, again it's the worst way to implement it but it's nintendo so it doesn't surprise me and it's weird because like nintendo seems to be jumping on all of the wrong trends i mean there there's so much that is missing from the nintendo switch as a uh, home console in my opinion mm -hmm. but yet they uh you know, as far as their mobile games, they want to jump into, you know, loot boxes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is probably the worst time to implement loot boxes in a game that didn't originally have them. Right. That, a lot of a lot of people are taking loot boxes out of their games. You know, I'm looking at right. you, Shadow of War. <laughs> yeah, I, again, Nintendo, this is another, this is more evidence that Nintendo doesn't necessarily care about its player base. As they care about the money they can squeeze out of their play base. Yeah. They, they don't care about your feelings. They care about your pocket. Yes. And, and how much money you try and give them. Right. So and this, this is just another example of them saying, hey, this is what we're going to do to milk one of our beloved IPs. We're going to just do this because we know people love the game and will pay us money. And they won't say anything to us about it. Yeah. Eventually, that's going to wear off. And yeah. they're, they're going to be – their feet will be held to the fire. But as it stands now – and if Animal Crossing was more popular and it wasn't a mobile game, this would be a bigger story. Yeah. But because it's a mobile game and Animal Crossing is really not being played by people um, – anybody other than their diehard fans, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of running under the radar. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we're – and that's why we uh, introduced this segment so that we can showcase the, these kinds of uh, situations that would normally go, you know, over somebody's head because who the fuck cares about um, Animal Crossing? Right. I'm Nobody. sorry. I'm uh, I'm sorry, Oh, I know he cares, but <laughs> Oh's a diehard uh, Animal Crossing fan, and I'm pretty sure he's not happy about this, if oh, yeah. he's even playing if he's this even version. Playing this version, right. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's just it's just another instance of Nintendo um, not really knowing exactly what their um, consumer base wants as far as... Well, well, I, I disagree with that. They know what their consumer base wants. Well, they're not implementing... They though, yeah, they don't care. Okay, so let me rephrase. They're not caring about what their consumer base wants. You know, they're right. not making money. Let's implement loot boxes during, you know, the height of the, uh, a loot box fiasco going on around the world uh and you know speaking of going around the world let's take a trip over to the netherlands yeah let's because take a, let's take a trip to the netherlands because those dudes is like yo yes because uh, those guys are not playing they declared some forms of loot boxes as gambling um and so you know they're they're finding these guys um with the with the quickness yeah so so basically the dutch the dutch um the people over in the netherlands they had their Game of the Thor review loot boxes in 10 of the most popular games and con con concluded that four of them were illegal, ran afoul of their laws. Um, they have a law called the Betting and Gambling Act. Mm -hmm. And what they what they determined is that these four games um, were the rewards were determined by chance and the rewards can be can be traded outside of the games, give them a real life uh, market value. Yep. And that. <clears throat> that runs afoul of their law as the law is written. Right. And for these games to continue to be sold and played in the Netherlands, they have to get a gambling license. Bam. Um, 
And the four games, um, now the gaming authority didn't release the the uh, the games in question. The games in question, but uh, a local or a Dutch um, news outlet, NOS, found out found what the games are, and there there's some there's some hitters. There's some hitters. Um, FIFA 18, EA, um, Rocket League, PUBG, and Dota 2 were all mm. the, found. Those are the four games that reportedly are in violation of the gambling law, and it's because you can take their you could take their uh, items, the digital items, and sell them or trade them in the real world market, which gives them value. Yeah. And they additionally they said that all of the loot boxes they studied um, could be considered addictive, and yep. they're they're demanding publishers or developers modify loot boxes to take that into um, consideration. So, yeah, so the Netherlands are definitely not playing around. I mean, I can see this in a couple of games, especially like FIFA and um, PUBG, because PUBG's loot box uh, system is is crazy. Right. Uh, be- you get the loot box, and then you have to actually purchase with real money a key in order to open the loot box. So right. it's it, that's even that's crazy to me. And I know for sure PUBG stuff goes outside because they had uh, I know during the height or yeah during the, the early days and the height of PUBG popularity, the red bandana. People were selling that outside of the game for thousands of dollars because apparently it was super rare. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean it's close to like what what people were doing with the uh, Counter Strike skins, right? Yep. Um. And then uh, with FIFA 18, I know FIFA 18 is also problematic because people in Europe commit credit card fraud and steal Xbox Live accounts so they can get the FIFA um the um it's the team the FIFA Ultimate Team the yeah. foot. The FIFA Ultimate Team cards, and they trade and sell those. So that's where that's coming from. I can't speak to Dota or Rocket, Rocket League too much, yeah. but I know the other two games. So I see where they're going. But also, I would I would say that that would include any game because if you think about it this way, if I have an Overwatch account and I unlocked, I paid, used loot boxes, unlocked all the skins at a high level, even though it's against the Blizzard's terms of service, I can take my Overwatch account and sell it to somebody. And it, that gives it a real world market value with a bunch of items that are gained out of loot boxes. So Crazy. while the Netherlands, the the Dutch has a specific um, guideline in their law, a, a place that has a more broader law, law can apply that to a broader um, list of games. Yeah, so, so they're going to be coming down. I mean, if they're coming down on games like Dota, uh, which hasn't really been the highlight of um, you know what we've been talking about as far right. as loot boxes. Right. They're coming down on that game. Um, I'm, I'm sure that there's like plenty of other games that will receive similar treatment. Right. Yeah. Right. So I I I, I like this. I like um, it. I love it. I, I, I like it a lot. And it's going to do more. It's going to scare people. It's going to scare the developers much more, and it's going to scare the the publishers more. Yep. Um. So it's going one of two things are going to happen. They're going to either rethink how they're doing or uh, monetizing these games. Or they're going to lobby. Yeah. So we, I hope so, they don't. I know they're going to lobby, and we just got to hope that the, that uh, we got people out here that that can that can uh, go up against that particular lobby. Yeah. Um, so so what I what I do want to say before we get off of this story is we we have to give it up for EA. <laughs> give it up for EA, man, because they will forever be known as the guys that just fucked it up they messed up so royally yes they fucked up so let's give these guys a round of applause round of applause for ea and fucking up everybody's money we appreciate you ea please fuck up more in the future so that um we can we can just have a better uh, overall gaming experience going forward because this this is wonderful what's happening in, Le- in the netherlands and hopefully other countries follow suit uh, so that was this week in loot boxes. If you have any loot box related stories, uh, because we try not to add those into the top five or into the quick hits, we want to, uh, you know, section those off individually. So if you have any that you would like uh, our opinions on or anything that comes up that we're not aware of, let us know via our social media. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. And um, yeah, let's let's keep the conversation going because the sooner we we forget about what's going on, the sooner they're. Uh, they are to re-implement these kinds of uh, monetization schemes. Yep, exactly.